We went through the ACE accreditation, and uh, what we did is we have a fairly large volume program. Um, we were asked to provide a list of all the cases that went to ACE. The cases were picked, uh, and all the films were sent in, all the appropriate records were sent in. There's a committee at our facility that oversees all of this because the pushback, honest pushback that we got and you have to be prepared for is, you know, the response was the committee is, do you know how many of these accreditation things we do? Now you want us to do this and it costs this much. So there was, there was pushback from that and I think you have to be kind of prepared for that. And that's what it provided for us, just like David's experience. You know, we thought we were doing a great job. Uh, we weren't doing as good a job as we thought we were. Uh, our lab, too, got a provisional uh, accreditation, and within about 30 seconds, Mary's phone rang. <laughs> <laughs> we won't repeat that conversation. But and, and about a minute after that, that my, my phone, phone rang. <laughs> Uh, but it was, I mean, it was a good experience, and, and like David's experience, I think we're, we're better for it. We're still not perfect. There's some things we struggle with. The disconnect that exists between sometimes the cath lab and the quality people, because we have observed that as well, you know, the quality people were turning in things to CMS that go on to hospital compare, you know, and you go like, where did they get that from? And we're finding out now that we have pre, I guess I'd say pre-connected them. I mean, we're not, don't anybody think we're trying to fix the results, but we now look at cases and how they were coded, you know, and make sure that the coding was correct before it ever gets to the point that they have to turn it in. And uh, it, that has been very enlightening and very helpful. The goal, I mean, especially in this era of public reporting, uh, you know, it has to be correct. And that, that's the ultimate goal, is to make sure that the data going in is correct. The other interaction that this really pushed for us was with our non-invasive imaging partners to change their reports, the language, to meet our AUC criteria. I mean, that was not happening, so our coders, and this is, again, we discovered this more through the data entry folks, you know, how are you classifying this stress test, which I can't figure out. It's created a much better collaboration with non-invasive and standardizing the language in, in the stress tests uh, so that they meet our criteria, which is going to be really important, obviously, as we get to um, AUC for diagnostic caths.